This is what it looks like when you're climbing with regular armor. And this is what it looks like when you're using the climbing gear to climb up. You can see that it's so much faster. I'm going to be showing you how to get the climbing set and stick around to the end so I can show you how to upgrade it so you can get the secret set bonus. So we're going to be grabbing the first piece of armor. And what you want to do is head over to New Serene Stable. This is going to be all the way to the west of the lookout landing area. So just follow this road up, be at New Serene Stable. And this is where the shrine is. So if you have a teleport, just quickly come over here. Now, from the New Serene Stable, we're going to then enter the North Hyrule Plain Cave, which we'll just mark on the map right over here. Now that we marked up the map, we're just going to head towards that location. Go through this geoglyph on the floor, and then as you approach these exact coordinates on my map, head over right to this hole. Here's the coordinates on my screen so you guys can see them. All right, and once you're there, you're going to drop down. Paraglide down nice and safely, and then you're going to be by a waterfall, and there's going to be a horror blend. Just go ahead and shoot that thing so it doesn't bother you, and it's gone. It's, it's dead in the water. Now you're going to look at this waterfall over here, and you're going to jump down to it. Slowly paraglide through it, and the treasure chest will be right over there. And you'll be able to get yourself some nice climbing gear so go ahead and then just equip that on you the next location that we're going to be heading over to is the zorana skyview tower this is going to be all the way to the east of lookout landing and it's going to be right to the west of zora's domain it's pretty much the one that stands on top looking down below you'll see the town anyway simply head down this pathway straight down so we want to get a little bit low so pretty much it's going to be right below that cave under the tower you see the tower you see the cave and then you have this other cave this is the one where you want to go to so just head over there all right, cool. You made it. Once you're here, just go into the cave and then just say discovery and show the upland Zorana by road. Instead of going on the left, make sure to go to the right. So the one where the bomb flower is sitting at. Then you can go ahead and make your way this way. Climb up this area. I'm going to bypass the monsters. Keep going down this way. All right. Then we're going to come into another room that you have to go ahead and just use a sword to cut. It's looking nice down here. It looks like a temple. I'll just keep going through all these little ruins here. Swim across this. Get to here. Then you're going to keep walking on these ruins. Okay, just like that. And when you're in front of this door, what you want to do is go ahead and lift it up. Pretty much just like that. And then what you want to do is... Go ahead and let go of that door. Once the water is drained, just drop down over here and then you're gonna turn on your left side and you're gonna see this little area that's now a lot better and a little hole that reveals where your chest is. Walk into this room, open up the chest and just like that, you'll now have the climbing boots. If you find the hidden Korok seed in the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. The next location that we're going to be going to is going to be all the way up here at the Ihen Ihena Shrine. Whatever you want to say. This is going to be all the way opposite of the Skyview Tower up over here. Pretty much where your quest line is going to be for the Water Temple. So up here. All right. So from this spot up here at this shrine location, what we're going to do is just drop down. Just fly down. So here we go. So just head down here and you're going to find a door below with little lights. We're not going to be able to enter that door and we're going to go to the one right below it. So you see where that is. You see exactly the landmarks just so you guys can see the waterfall. OK, then we're just going to go ahead and drop down. You're going to see a tree. And right when we get to the tree, we're going to arrive at this cave. This is the Polymus Mountain Cave. Now, that's going to look a little bit intimidating to climb because it is wet in here. So you also will be slipping when you start to climb up here. But what we can do is do a little bit of parkour, and that's how we're going to get to it. So when we start off here, we're going to go first with a climb. One, two, three, four, and then jump. You want to count like about four seconds of climbing. Then we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and glide to this rock here. Then we're going to go climb here. So one, two, three, and jump. There we go. Got it. So we're on the next one. Next one you want to do is you want to just glide straight to the rock here. So just go one, two, three, four, jump. Okay. Then we're going to go across to this rock, and then we're going to go over up here so ready one two three four jump then the one across here one two three four jump there you go link good stuff then we're gonna jump to this one here so just get to the highest point you can do a quick glide one two three four jump then we're gonna go right straight over there okay now that you're here we're just gonna go up here like this one two three four jump and then the top which is not too hard <laughs> I said that as I slip. One, two, three, four, jump, and you're pretty much land at the top. Once you get to the top portion, you're then going to turn around 
and you're gonna see this right in front of you, the little shrine and a chest in it. Open up the chest and then you should be able to get the climber's bandana. Now that you have the gear, here is exactly what the climbing speed looks like with and without the gear. You can see quite the difference on the left side versus the right side. So it's pretty cool to see that this actually does make a huge difference in your game. Congratulations, you now have the entire outfit. But we're not done yet. We still have to get to the upgrading part and what it does. Next, you wanna go to the Great Fairy Fountain to do some of these upgrades. To upgrade all your gear to one star, you're gonna need nine key swings, which you can find in Hyrule Field, and you need nine rush rooms. You can get rush rooms on the side of mountains. To upgrade to level two, which is where you're gonna get the set bonus, you're gonna need 15 electric key swings, which you can farm in the desert area, and you're gonna need 15 hightail lizards, which you can just chop grass in the middle of Hyrule Field and find a bunch of them. The set bonus will allow you to consume less stamina when you are climbing up. As you can see here, you can do these jumps and it doesn't take as much stamina as you normally do when you do a regular jump. So you can climb faster and you can jump without worrying about a bunch of stamina being lost with the set bonus. We've talked about the gliding set to help you get to places from the sky. Now you have the climbing set, but do you have this one over here? 